if I could just follow up on New York 3 and specifically the immigration piece of that and, and the way uh, Tom Swazi messaged on that. Are there lessons that Democrats can take from that going into the fall, or was that election kind of too, too unique to, to really draw any lessons? I think specifically, you know, on the the immigration frame, um, you know, we've we've read articles. We understand um, uh, New York is uh, has a lot of you know thoughts on on this issue, and I think that that's fair. Um, I think the vice chair is absolutely correct as well. I mean, Tom Swazi has a rich record of voting and supporting a comprehensive immigration reform. I mentioned the Dream and Promise Act, the Farm Worker Modernization uh, Bill. You know, those are bipartisan pieces of legislation. And Tom Suozzi talked about this openly. He also talked about the Senate bipartisan bill um, when it included uh, the border component um, before, uh, just a reminder, before Donald Trump exercised his senatorial veto um, and, and got the House and uh, Republican senators to oppose that portion, and they walked away from a bipartisan solution that they themselves uh, negotiated. Um, so I, I think that's the, the lesson here, is whatever Donald Trump says is where House Republicans are going to land. Um, and so from our perspective, um, people like Tom Suozzi and members who have a, a track record on these issues um, have leaned in and will continue to lean in on, on uh, being problem solvers, working in a bipartisan way. That's what the public wants us to do. They want us to solve issues of the day, and that means working to find common ground. Leader Jeffries has said we're going to continue to find that common ground wherever and wherever we can with our colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Uh, that's what we, we plan to do uh, on national security, um, and that's what we plan to do uh, on other issues of importance.